Hallelujah. I want to welcome you today uh, to New Life's Noontime prayer service. And it's been a delight over the last, what, seven, eight weeks. We've been meeting Monday through Thursday. And wherever you're at today, may this next 40 minutes or so uh, lift up your heart. If you're facing sickness, uncertainty, facing financial stress, problems that are, that seem to be overwhelming you, uh, be of good courage today. God's with you, and this time of prayer and worship is going to minister to you. Today's theme is giving God thanks, and we're going to talk about in the middle of our turmoil, if we can give God thanks, it turns our mind and our circumstances around. So join us now as we sing and pray together. Yes. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son, give thanks, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ.
fall down We lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus The greatness of mercy and love are at the feet of Jesus And we cry our hands. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Let's sing it again. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Yes, we cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. If you're joining us anywhere in the world today, live or in an archive, Facebook Live, we're glad you're with us. And I just believe there doesn't need to be any separation by the Spirit, even though physically you're not with us. But in the Spirit, if we'll just link our hearts together in prayer today, and in worship and before the Lord, there's no distance between us and what God wants to do. I want to share a little exhortation today. You know, these last eight weeks, these noonday prayer times have had quite a variety of sessions, but most of the time is focused on prayer with lots of worship. And I want to talk about maybe the most effective uh, aspect of, an, of a prayer life that actually gets miracles. And we're going to review a little bit about some other things, but just really briefly, I want to talk about how powerful it is that when we pray, when we give God thanks, and we just declare apart from the circumstance that, that we're, we're thankful to God. Thankfulness is a little different than giving God uh, praise, general praise. Thankfulness is really where you can see God at work in your life. And you say, thank you and thank you. Certainly thanking him for things he's done in the past. And ultimately thanking him for the cross where Jesus died for our sins and the promise of eternal life with him. The Bible says, are any of you anxious about anything? Talk to God about it. Ask him about it. Make your request known to God. But then it says this. It says, make your request known to God with thanksgiving. Because yes. what we do when we pray with, with thanksgiving, it takes us out of the fear mode. It takes us out of the complaining mode. It takes us out of the unbelieving mode. And it's almost without you being aware of it that you're, you have moved your emotions towards God. Uh, let me read that text to you. Uh, as written, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing. Now, that's quite a statement. Right. Nothing, little things or big things. Right. Don't be worried. It says, but, oh, I love that, 
but in everything by prayer, that's petition, and supplication, which is a groaning of intercession, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And it says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Before we started Facebook Live today, I was sharing with Pastor Kevin. We've been together now, oh, 23 years, I think, ministering together. And uh, Long time. when I was uh, diagnosed with a recurrence of cancer, this was eight years ago, I remember talking to Pastor Kevin, and I said, and I was, I was frightened. I mean, I still had faith in God, for sure, but... but but I, I, I was, my emotions were afraid, very afraid. And I remember saying to Pastor Kevin, I said, Kev, if you had a diagnosis that you weren't going to live, but you're actually going to die, uh, what would your response be? And I don't know what I was expecting to hear, but just as authentic as he's ever been with me, immediately he said to me, Dan, he says, I hope I would be thankful to God for the life that he's given me up to this point. And I go, that's how I want to be. I don't know what the future holds, and you don't know what the future holds. But in the present, can we just give God thanks? Let your requests be known to God. Intercede, pray, petition. Put your cares, those of you that are fighting sickness and disease, put your cares in the hands of God. Those that are praying for loved ones, infertility, loved ones who are isolated in COVID crisis, pray about it with all of your heart. Put it into the hands of God. And then the Bible says, give him thanks. So what I'm going to do, I have my uh, semi-annual oncology doctor's appointment tomorrow. And I get all tested up, right? Those of you that have ever had cancer, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to check my blood. They're going to look at my cancer markers, and they're going to tell me how I'm doing. And I'm a walking miracle. Yes. I mean, the doctors can do little now. I'm, I'm a walking miracle, right? And once they test my blood, they're going to give me a number. It's kind of scary for me, really, to wait in a little room for a number. But I chose this morning, thinking about this noontime prayer, I'm going to reframe every doctor's appointment from what's he going to say or is my life going to change or what about my family? I want to reframe it. God, I'm going to give you thanks. Every time I have a doctor's appointment, I'm going to use that as, as an opportunity to say, hey, I've been alive for 15 more years yes. since I was diagnosed. Hey, I feel great. Probably haven't felt this good in five years. My family's doing well. The church is doing well. God's on the throne. My future's secure. I never thought I'd see the day of 60, and I'm already 63, and I'm pressing to 70 and 80, and my goal is to outlive this guy right over here. <laughs> Can we go together? <laughs> Can we go together? We'll go together. I'm going to reframe it. I'm not just, as we say in South Dakota, I'm blowing smoke up your skirt. I really mean it. I really mean it. I'm reframing my most terrifying day of the year, my doctor's appointment. I'm reframing it from a day of being afraid to a day of giving thanks. I'm going to give God thanks. This prayer time today is about giving God thanks. Pray for your needs. Put it in the hands of God and then say, Lord, I can't change one hair on my head, but I can give you thanks. So, Ron, I know God gave you a little verse why don't you share that? Well, this morning, um, as I was preparing, I, I felt, um, I just remembered the uh, scripture that talks about from Eb about the Ebenezer stone. Um, it's in 1 Samuel 7, uh, 12. But we're going to start with, we're going to start back uh, with uh, verse 7. Now, when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel had gathered together, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. So the children of Israel said to Samuel, Do not cease to cry out to the Lord for us, 
that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. And I thought about the Philistines now today. What is your Philistine? What is the, what is that Philistine that's come up against you? Is it the fear or is it finances? Is it, um, uh, is it the COVID virus itself? Is it a uh, lack of employment? Is it whatever it is? That's your Philistine crying out to God for us. And Samuel went and sacrificed. And then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel. And today we are going to cry out to God. And Samuel was, as he was offering up that, the Lord thundered with a loud thunder from the Phil from upon the Philistines that day, and it so confused them that they were over that they were overcome before Israel. And then it says, "So the so the Philistines." Uh, then I'm sorry. Then it says Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and called the name of the stone Ebenezer saying thus far the Lord has helped us and I think we can say that thus far the Lord has helped us thank you God thus far you have helped us so then after that the Philistines were subdued and they did not come anymore to the territory of Israel and later on it even says that they were they were totally recovered so I'm going to believe that today as we believe what God is saying that you can find that Ebenezer God thus far you have helped us and now through that, God is going to deliver us. Should, should I pray? Or are we? Mm. Okay. Good job. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Pastor Kevin, I know giving thanks and remembering what God's done has been a big part of your prayer life, worship life. You start every sermon with a song, <laughs> giving God thanks. And just share briefly, uh, how has Thanksgiving affected your prayer life? Pastor, one thing I found about uh, giving thanks, it shifts my heart uh, from a focus on myself, a focus on my circumstances. And I find when I begin to sing in particular to the Lord, I just sense the heavens open. Now, I will say this. I'll confess this to you. I'm not the greatest singer. I'm not really a songster. Now, my brother is an anointed singer uh, in terms of ability. But I love to worship the Lord in song. And I remember the Lord, uh, as I began to sing to him one morning, he said, I love it when you sing unto me. So when I sing, I'm not singing or giving thanks uh, for people. I'm singing and giving thanks unto the Lord. The scripture says he inhabits our praises and thanksgiving is a part of our praises. He lives in that. And I just find, as I said, when uh, I need the presence of the, God, of the Lord, in my prayer life. I need the presence of the Lord in my worship. And when I begin to sing unto the Lord, when I begin to give thanks unto the Lord, it's not about me. It's not just uh, uh, words that I'm speaking. I know how to speak words of praise. I know how to say words of praise. I know how to declare scriptures. But there's something that happens when I begin to give thanks, not just from my mind, but it moves into my spirit and into my heart. There's a shifting that I sense in my own life, in the physical uh, circumstances, but I feel the shifting first takes place in the heavenlies. As I declare God's goodness, as I declare his kindness, I, as I declare his worthiness. And as I begin to declare that just in words, but also in song, again, that shifting takes place. And then what I feel, whatever it is that I need, I have it. And then faith is activated. As I give thanks unto the Lord, this, that shift from just saying, yeah, I know I've read about what you can do to, Lord, I know that you can do this. And I know, again, even again, as Pastor Dan has, has shared, we've been on this journey together for 20 plus years. And yes, I've been standing with him for his healing and God has done miraculous things. And I believe that even tomorrow as he goes in for his appointment, as we give thanks unto the Lord, even the last report that he received was a supernatural report. So why would not God give us another supernatural report? So I'm going to ask you who are listening to agree with us today that there's going to be another supernatural. He's going to give us a report that's exceeding abundantly above anything that we could ask or imagine again as we give them thanks for it. Amen. <laughs> thanks, Kevin. And your love is extravagant. Your friendship
find I'm moving I find I'm moving Through the rhythms of your grace Your fragrance is intoxicating In a secret place And your love Is extravagant Captured my heart again. Captured my heart again. Capture my heart again. Let's go to a time of prayer. Pastor Kevin, myself, my wife, and Jeff, you want to pray, of course, anytime. And we're going to come before a throne of grace today in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus. And we're going to give God thanks. And I want to begin by giving God thanks for every person that's listening to me that's standing uh, for a good report in cancer, against cancer, standing for a good report against diabetes, standing in a, in a, good, in a good report with any kind of blood disorder that can't be cured. Those that have been diagnosed with diseases that are deadly. And we're just going to go before a throne of grace right now and give God thanks that Jesus is the great physician. So, Lord, I give you thanks today. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are the great physician and there is no sickness that you cannot cure. And I thank you today, Lord, that not only do you have the power to cure, you have the desire to heal your people. I thank you, Lord Jesus, you took the stripes on your back. And I give you thanks. You had every one of us in mind. And when the blood trickled down your back, redemption was being purchased for the whole man, body, soul, and spirit. We thank you today that, Lord, we lift up our voices in prayer. You hear us. The prayers of a righteous person availeth much. And we thank you, God, that you hear our prayers. You, we thank you today you heal us of all our diseases. I thank you today you do not put the disease on us. You put on the Philistines. But, Lord, you grant your people divine life. I thank you, Lord, even as we partake of the means of grace. In the house of God, you're pouring out healing, and I give you thanks. I thank you, Lord, for every doctor's report. In Jesus' name, in advance, that it's a good report. Today, if you're watching me and you're fearful, let's replace that fear with a heart of thanksgiving. Just take it out, set it on the shelf, and say, Lord, I give you thanks, even in advance. <coughs> I give you thanks for who you are. I give you thanks that you're God who loves me. I thank you. That you sent, Father, the Lord Jesus, to die for my sins. And I refuse to be cowered into the corner of unbelief. But rather I turn and give wholehearted thanksgiving to a good God, a kind God, a faithful God, a personal God. A God who blesses his children. Lord, you're the one who said, if, if a parent knows how to give something good to a child, how much more you will give to us. And I give you thanks that you're a good father. You're a good, good father. And I'm your son, and that's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. So, Lord, I give you thanks, not only for my report, 
But for every person who's listening right now, I want to talk to the person right now that has a lung cancer. I just say the Lord's heard your prayer. Just give him thanks right now. And the, and the lady who's got a has an has a unusual mammogram and you're afraid today, just lift up your hands and give God thanks without any strings attached. Right there, wherever you are. The person who's got problems with their eyes and the doctor said they're losing their eyesight. Can you lift up your hands and give God praise before you see the answer that he's hearing you today? Our giving of thanks brings the miracle. So, Father, I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for every man in this church that fights the disease that I fight, this, this dreaded prostate cancer. And I thank you, Lord, that we just give you thanks today that none shall die before their time. And, Lord, we shall have long life and serve the God of miracles. And, Lord, we refuse to be anxious today for anything. But by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, O God, we make our request known to you. And now, Lord, the great promise of a peace that passes all understanding. Cancer of the colon, cancer of the stomach kidney and liver cancer stage 4 cancer that's not the final word Lord we give you thanks that even at stage 4 you bring the miracles we, we thank you Lord and believe that you're the divine healer we turn our ears off to the unbelief and we turn our hearts towards the giving of thanks the Ebenezer Lord that says you've helped us and you will help us and we acknowledge that may you always remind us you're the God you're the God who heals. And for this, Lord, who we give you thanks on this Thursday morning, May the 14th. You've heard our prayers, and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We give you thanks, O oh God. We bless your name. Lord, we declare that you are great. You are great, and you are mighty. God, we thank you for the provision of healing, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the provision of miracles, oh God, for your people. Father, we thank you that you are a God that makes a way of escape. Father, we thank you, oh God, for good reports, Lord. Father, we thank you, oh God, oh God, for opening up, oh God, that way, for opening up, oh God, doors. Father, we thank you, oh God, for healing brain cancer. Yes, we speak that for healing brain cancer. Lord, where the doctors have given up, Lord, we give you thanks, oh God, that you're going to bring a mighty healing, oh God, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for healing bone cancer. We speak that now, prophetically, bone cancer be gone in Jesus' name. And even, oh God, as a physician has declared, oh God, uh, the final days, Lord, for individuals, Lord, that you're going to give them years to live, oh God, to give a report of your miracle touch. Father, we give you thanks, Lord. This is the day that you have made. And we declare that all things are possible with you. Father, we thank you, oh God, for testimonies of miracles upon miracles that will come forth as your people leave in this day. Give you thanks oh God. Father, we give you thanks, God, even for this uh, uh, this condition, Lord, that's attacking young children, Lord, that's associated with this COVID virus. Lord, we thank you for turning this thing away. We thank you for intervening. We pray a prayer of protection over our children. And even, oh God, the complications, Lord, that this COVID-19 uh, uh, virus is calling. We call these things out, Lord, and we ask that you would go into the hospital and Lord, and, and touch, oh God, those who have been afflicted, oh God, by this disease. Lord, we say it's not so. God, and we bring forth testimonies, oh God, where the doctors, oh God, we say there's nothing more we can do. Lord, that people will be raised up throughout this nation and the nations of the world, declaring that God touched me. God raised me up. Lord, we thank you today for doing it, oh God. We thank you for the spirit of of thanksgiving. We thank you for the attitude of gratitude. And out of that attitude of gratitude, out of that attitude of thanksgiving, Lord, you would wrought many miracles, Lord, in the land. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that with a loud thunder you disposed of the Philistines. 
And God, with a loud thunder, we thank you that you're disposing, God, of every sickness and disease. Every person within a hearing right now, the sickness and disease that they have encountered or they are fighting against, God, with a loud thunder, will you come and overlay over the top of this? We are believing the report of the Lord. No more of these lies will we listen to. God, we thank you for the report of the Lord. This says life. Yes, it says life right now in the name of Jesus, the body of Christ, we lay over the top of every sick person and we declare the body of Christ. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that brings life into your body now. God, we thank you for your power is greater than any other power. We are, we are talking about the God of all gods. We are talking about there is no one higher than you. God, there is no one. There is no one. Every sickness and disease must kneel to you. And Father God, right now, we just cover them now in the mighty name of Jesus with thanksgiving. God, we thank you for freedom and liberty. I just see there are things drying up right now. There are things drying up. I don't know what they are, but they're drying up. They, uh, God, I thank you for that drying up. It's falling off right now in the name of Jesus, whatever it is, if it's a growth or inside or out or whatever. Thank you, God. Thank you that your name is above every name. Your name is above every name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. This is what I would like you to do, those that are watching. But today's not about a teaching or, or about simply a prayer time. Today is about a breakthrough in your personal life. And you've been holding on to a rope for a long time of prayer. You've been praying, worrying, pleading, groaning, and you're holding on to that. You're at the end of your rope, but you're holding on. This is what I'm going to ask you to do today. I'm going to ask you to let go and lift up your hands and say, Lord, I've prayed, I've believed, and now I give you thanks. I give you thanks. After you ask God and you claim his promise, it's like prayer has three chapters. Chapter number one, ask him what you need. Don't think it, say it. Second chapter is confess his promises. Confess your need. Confess your sinfulness where there's disobedience. And then the last chapter, the third part of the book of prayer is then when all said and done, you give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. you sing, you dance, you honor him, you exhale, A, ask, C, confess the word, T, thanksgiving, act. We ask, Lord, for our needs to be met. We confess your promises, your words that are living and true. And now, Lord, while we wait, we give you thanks today. So would you give him thanks right now? I don't, I don't, listen to me. I don't want you to think it. I want you to say it. Thank you, Lord. I don't care if you're with somebody in a, in a, in a living room or a car. I want you to say it out loud. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Thank yes. you. You've heard my prayer. Thank you that you're on the throne. Yes. Thank you. I don't need to be afraid. Thank you that the answer's coming. Thank you. You're a miracle working God. Oh, there's a thousand things you could add to it, but start out with this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, a life of you. gratitude. Thank you, yes. Lord. And you'll see yes. your yes. and you'll see yes. your miracle. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor Ken, would you come and close us Hallelujah. in prayer? And, Thank you, God. And then I'll say a final goodbye. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. It's a privilege, Lord, to stand here, Lord, this noonday hour, Lord, to give you thanks for your goodness, for your provision, for your kindness, Lord, for salvation, so many things, oh, God. But Lord, this noonday hour in particular, we lift Pastor Dan to you. And just join with me, if you will, those who are listening. Father, we thank you, oh God, even throughout the years, Lord, we, oh God, have seen your faithfulness. 
So, Lord, we're here yet again petitioning you. But after we petition you, Lord, we can give thanks because we know that our prayers have been answered. So, God, we ask, oh, God, that you would continue to work your peace in his life. Lord, we thank you and can declare by faith that his best days are yet ahead of him. Father, we thank you, oh, God, even as he drives down, oh, God, to see the doctor. Lord, we thank you, Lord, in his spirit, in his heart, there would be such an expectation of not only what you're going to do, but what you've done already. And we just agree, God, for supernatural report, even, oh God, as you gave us last time. Lord, that they're going to give them a report, Lord, that only you could have brought about. So we give you thanks for that. Lord, and even those who are believing you today for a miracle, those who are watching, Lord, we thank you. Their faith level is rising. Their faith level is rising as they give you thanks. Their faith level is increasing, oh God. And Lord, we know that your heart is touched, Lord, as we, oh God, express our faith in you. Lord, not allow the circumstances, not allow our sickness, not allow, oh God, uh, uh, that trouble, that obstacle that's before us to be our focus. But our focus is upon you, Lord. And even as we declare our trust in you, God, we thank you that there's movement in heaven which will be manifested here on earth in our particular circumstances and situations. And Father, we thank you, oh God, that you are God, that hear the cries of your people. We thank you that you are God, oh God, that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. We thank you that we serve a God who invites us to come and petition. And after we petition, because we expect to receive those things that we ask, we give you thanks for them now. We love you. We appreciate you. And we, our expectations are high, Lord, of what you're doing and what you're going to do. And in all things, God, we will give you thanks. We will bless your name because you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Amen. I'm just going to sing this over us all. Just a little short song straight from the Lord. Do not be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my son and my daughter. I am with you. Don't be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my son and my daughter. I am with you. Can we just sing this with the Lord? Don't be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my child. I am with you again. Don't be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my child. Don't be afraid, my child. I'm with you. And that's right, Lord. We just trust you and we thank you. We believe that you are with us, God. We believe, Lord. We believe, Lord. We believe you, Lord. We believe you, God. We believe you. We believe you, Lord. We will follow you, Lord. We will follow you. Follow you. Wherever you lead, we'll follow you. We'll follow you. Hallelujah. Wherever you will lead, I will follow. Thank you, Jeff. You're such a great pastor. Thank you, brother. And honey, it's good to be with you today. You're such an inter intercessor. And Pastor Kevin, as always, is such a strong man of faith. Thank you for joining us today on this Thursday. Every noonday, Monday through Saturday, there's something at noon that will bless your life. Can I ask you to spread the word? There's an anointing on this hour of the noontime. And as you listen and pray and participate, I believe you'll be drawn closer to the Lord and he'll draw closer to you. So God bless you all. See you tomorrow at noon. See ya.